What's up guys, Upchuck here. I just wanted to give you a, a quick video because it's a lot better than a wall of text um, for add-ons. Um, I want to go over LVI just really quick because I, I know there's a ton of videos out there on it that, are, that go way in depth, but I just want to skim over it really quick for people that are just curious about it. So LVI is a complete overhaul and includes a lot of baked in uh, add-ons um, that you would otherwise probably download separately. So having them all included, um, it actually helps kind of like your load times and stuff like that. Um, and it kind of, you know, centralizes all of your settings too. Um, now there's a lot to take in. So as you're watching this, just kind of remember there is, there is a lot to it, but uh, a lot of it can uh, be set up for you as you start. So something like this here, let me go back to the start. You're going to see this when you first install. It's going to walk you through a few things, um, which is nice. And most people are going to be okay with kind of the basic setup. And I would recommend just rolling with that for a little bit and then tinkering with stuff. Um, you can go to the toggle anchors here and there's all of your, you know, info frames and, and all that stuff that you can move around. Uh, so, so some of the things that this does come with is, you know, it's got a built-in bag add-on that kind of combines things if you like that kind of stuff. Um, you can still have them separate too, and you can change the colors of everything. You can change the background transparencies. Um, you know, it's highly, highly customizable. So yours doesn't necessarily have to look like this or will look like this. Um, but, you know, it comes with like, you know, automatically selling grays, um, you know, bag stuff, filters. I like the search functions, especially in the bank. Um, cause sometimes it's right under your nose, but you can't find it. So you can type it in, uh, sort bags. I know people have a love hate relationship with uh, that, that, uh, button there, but, uh, you know, do what you will. And then stack items is in bags is kind of nice too. If you're, um, gathering and, you know, stuff kind of gets mixed up, you can just hit that and it will just stack all like items together. Um, so some good conveniences there. Now, as far as like, uh, name plates or, um, you know, uh, action bars and things like that. Uh, it will have some built in like timers, um, global cooldown, the way it looks and everything. You can change the font, you can change the size of it, the color of it, everything there to make it easier for you. And of course, all of this, you can move around however you want. This is just my layout. Um, it does, this is just a modified, uh, layout of one of the three options that they give you. But again, you can move them around anywhere. Um, you know, if I go into my action bars here, um, I can choose the font size. I can choose how many, um, buttons are displayed per row, you know, if they're vertical or if they're horizontal, stuff like that. Um, so other stuff that's kind of baked in, um, there is a swing timer that's baked in. There is a threat meter that's, um, baked in too. However, I still have downloaded a separate uh, weapon swing timer and I have details of course um, with the threat meter there so kind of depends on what you like or what you need I haven't messed with the settings of the swing timer or the threat that comes with it so I don't know if they have more customizations than tiny threat or um, other other items uh, your chat windows here are just as customizable as anything else um, you'll get two chat windows you can have just one but I, I find two is convenient because I can have um, the loot spam in one or trade channel in one and then um, all of the the chat regular chat on one side too so I'm not missing anything uh, on either side um, you know you got customizable name plates um, let's see yeah so you can see the swing timer that was on unit frame there let's see about time but I, I have the one above it too so, um, what else here that is in LVI? There's a ton, but again, just kind of want to skim a few things. I also have Benic UI enabled, which is kind of an inception thing. It's a, <laughs> a UI for the UI, uh, but I really like the, the cleanliness of it. Um, but of course, it, it reskins all of your windows too. Um, that's also customizable. You can even choose which skins you do or don't want. Um, here so you can you can say man my map is messed up or uh, you know my guild frame I don't like the the new thing you can pick and choose what it skins over um, if you find that your functionality or just your aesthetic is is unpleasing um, for that so um, 
yeah, customize your mini map, the size of it, you know, the shape. You can uh, do different things with the buttons there. Um, they come with a whole bunch of info windows and, and just data pieces down here that, you know, I can see the gold that I don't have on all my characters because I'm poor. And, you know, durability. Uh, I like to keep track of my ammo there. Just little quick quick efficiency things and then you can kind of choose which add-ons you can modify through that too technical stuff this is a different add-on this is the location plus um, for LVUI I like it though um, I'm not in a raid or a party but your raid and party frames will be on the left side here those are just as customizable as your own unit frames so you can show if you want you could see every single buff on every single person I don't recommend that but uh, you could do that <laughs> and uh, it condenses things really nice of course I'm on a you know widescreen display here so your mileage may vary on how your layout looks but again everything can be sized changed reskinned colored stuff like that so what I like about it is you know not just the cleanliness of it and you know the fact that it improves my efficiency with where my buttons are and everything like that I can clean up things to where I'm still looking at a game because I have seen some layouts where half of someone's screen is, is you know action bars and buttons and you know do what you need to do but I really like LVUI because it has the essentials in it you know the bag thing um, threat meters timers and you know just as I use it I I will go in and explore some more on some downtime and find like hey I didn't know that this could do that or uh, you know and kind of tweak it even more so it's it's really fun to do that sometimes but i think right out of the box uh most people will kind of have a learning curve and be in a somewhat state of shock if you're not used to you know uh, a ui overhaul or if you haven't had one in the past but i think once you use it and after about an hour of just kind of tinkering with things uh, you'll really like it so highly recommend lvui very clean very lightweight um, compared to having 24 add-ons you know you can have half as much and you know because most of the stuff is going to be built into this one um, I still have a lot of add-ons going on here but that's kind of the brief overview of LVUI so hopefully that helps